Yesterday, when most of us were talking about the president and a porn star, me included, Puerto Ricans were marking the six-month anniversary of Hurricane Maria tearing through the island, killing dozens at least, wiping out nearly all electricity, closing some schools for months, and leaving tens of thousands with no home and little access to food or water. Now, much of the island is getting back to the way things were before Maria, but more than 100,000 people remain in the dark. That's as many as live in Cambridge, which means no refrigeration for food and in some cases much worse. Miriam Rodriguez's husband, Natalio, died months after Maria when they ran out of fuel for the generator that powered his sleep apnea machine. But um, I couldn't do nothing to help him. If we had electricity, normal electricity at that time, he couldn't be alive. Thousands of Puerto Ricans are still homeless, too. More than 3,500 are still living in temporary housing, and the Army Corps of Engineers is still picking up debris, which can be just as dangerous. And just this past Sunday, a wooden telephone pole fell in western Puerto Rico, killing, a, killing an elderly couple, Luis Beltran and Rosa Bosque. Despite all this, FEMA has approved fewer than 40% of the applications for disaster assistance, and only a fraction of the $23 billion of approved federal aid has made it to Puerto Rico, significantly less than the $94 billion Puerto Rico's governor says they need. Tonight and tomorrow, we may hear things like this from our New England neighbors. This is, uh, this is incredible. I've never seen it like this before. And we're out of power, no heat, you know, cold. Not great. <laughs> Not great. <laughs> As the fourth nor'easter in a month hits New England, hundreds of people have gone several days without power. But for tens of thousands of residents of Puerto Rico, it's been months. Many of our leaders have forgotten them, but we should not. It is our job to ensure our fellow American citizens, and they are, are treated like all of us would demand to be.